Good morning, everyone. I'm now going to present my weekend analysis of Nifty. But before I proceed, kindly note that this is to be taken as only for educational purposes. And this analysis is based on my knowledge and experience of chart analysis for the past 15 years. I can always go wrong. Please be aware of that. So please do your due diligence or consult your financial advisor in case you want to take any position in the index. That said, let me start my analysis. The chart you are seeing is the daily chart of Nifty. I'm going to do a fresh and detailed Elliott Way analysis. I always start my analysis from the zero point, which I think is the COVID low, March 2020 low. That is where the, the big move started. The impulse cycle started from here. So I will start my analysis from there. Okay, let me zoom into the initial leg, okay, initial portion. Now I will bring up the first wave, the impulse wave. Not the impulse, motive wave. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. This is the, the first signature wave. Okay. If I may, if I may call it. This is a motive wave, but uh, it is a diagonal type of motive wave. People who have some knowledge of Elliott wave can understand what I'm talking. You got motive wave, you have two types. One is the impulse and another one is diagonal. In, diagonal is more of a choppy wave. Okay. Because as per Elliott wave guideline, the first wave, the signature wave tends to be choppy because the wave, the move is just starting. So it is a, there, is, there is a certain kind of tentativeness in the move. That's why it is choppy wave. So this is the, that first wave. Okay. And then after that, we had a correction, ABC correction. Okay. This is the ABC correction. So this is the first wave. This is the second way now let me zoom out now what i am bringing up is the third wave this is the internal structure of the third wave third wave was a really massive uh, extended wave okay if i may say that so this is one this is two this is three okay maybe now i will hide uh, the internal st structure and then bring up the higher cycle impulse wave see this is the the white one this is the higher cycle impulse wave one two three four five okay now the point is whether the fourth wave correction is over or where it was over earlier i was thinking the fourth wave correction to be over here okay i was thinking this is a w x y correction and it ended here so i was thinking that it is to be an impulse wave but it never turned out to be an impulse wave because if it is impulse wave, it should have gone further ahead. Okay, That did not happen. So I started believing that this is a, another X wave, which means that this is a very complicated type of correction called WXY XZ. I will bring up that. This is the one. Maybe I will hide the other one. So you have, you see only the correction. See, this is the, this is called the triple combo correction wave. W, X, Y, X, Z. Okay. This is W leg, which is an ABC. We have an X, 1, 2, 3. We have again another ABC, which is Y leg. We have 1, 2, 3, again X leg. And this is the Z leg, which is under ABC. Okay. So now I have reason to believe that probably the fourth wave ended here and not here. Okay. Uh, now this one is, a, is another ABC. I can bring up that. See, this is the, maybe I will hide that. So you see only this correction. XZ is an ABC. So if you study the internal structure, I see it as a zigzag correction. Means for a zigzag, the substructure is 5, 3, 5. Okay. So we can see 5 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3. This is ABC correction, flat type of correction. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the impulse leg of the C leg. C leg is always an impulse leg for a zigzag. So this is a zigzag type of correction which has ended here. 
and uh, we can also see this as a uh, alternate AB equal to CD pattern also. See, if I do the Fibonacci extension, see 127 is exactly coming there. So, people who have knowledge of harmonic pattern can see this as a alternate AB equal to CD pattern also. So, just an observation which I wanted to share. Whichever way you look at it, the correction has ended here. That is the point. Now, what I am going to show you now, that, that is what is adding credence to my analysis. Credibility to this analysis is the time analysis, which I have tried to. Because, let me, let me put the vertical marker line at the second wave correction and another market marker line at the third wave correction okay should i bring up the not ah, this is the wave no? the bigger wave what we are seeing so i will put a marker line vertical line at the end of second wave and the marker line at the end of third wave so uh, the time taken for this impulse and the time taken for the correction is normally equal okay that is another wave uh, guideline okay so let us measure this time okay i will use this date range so so the the the, the time is 355 bars okay 355 days or candles or bars whichever way you call it that much time it has taken so i will duplicate that and bring it to the other side okay so same 300 same time if I measure and I drop a vertical line here, you see how exactly it is passing through. Maybe I will bring up the correction wave again here. Sorry. See? Now you see what I am trying to say is this is a symmetry, what I am time symmetry, what I am talking. The time for the third wave, okay, the time taken for the third impulse is the same as the time taken for the fourth correction, fourth wave correction. This is the, uh, this time analysis adds credibility to my overall analysis. So as per this analysis, I am thinking that the fourth wave ended here and we are at the start of the fifth wave. Now let us try to, I will hide all now. Okay. Now I will bring up what is called a Fibonacci channel or the ending channel. See, this is called the ending channel, where you which you do by connecting the waves to. Now we are sure this is four. Okay, as per our analysis, this is the end of the fourth wave. This is the third wave. This is the second wave. So you connect all three, make a channel. This channel is called the ending channel. Okay. Now as per another guideline, normally the fifth wave ends at the median or the I mean the top line of the ending channel okay now let us be conservative let us think that it will end here and another guideline is equality guideline means wave 1 and wave 5 are equal so I will bring up that see I have measured wave 1 and took it up from here and 100% falls exactly here okay so I have reason to believe that we have a target of 22,148 for the Nifty, okay, based on this analysis. Of course, as I said initially, this is just my analysis and I can totally go wrong, okay. And one more thing before I wind up, what I want to show, which gives confidence to my bullish analysis is the moving average. I will bring up that moving average. See, this is the, let me hide the wave. Now, if you just see the, the this two, red one is the 200 day moving average. In fact, last, whole of last week, uh, the Nifty tried to break below the 200, but it could not. Even yesterday, if you see, it intraday it went down, but it has closed above the 200 day. So, it is above all three key moving averages 
and another thing that you have to note is the 200 day moving average is sloping upwards which is a sign of bullishness okay if it is sloping down then we can be skeptical but the slope it is sloping upwards and also you can see this this is white one is a 50 and the blue one is a 20 or uh, both of them are looking up see you are, it is, it is a sloping down now it is more of horizontal to up they are, they are sliding they are trying to move up so i expect in coming days that 50 period moving average will slowly go up and cross above the 200 which is called the golden cross okay which will be a confirmation of the bullishness okay just i wanted to show this so of course i can totally go wrong also as i keep on saying uh, only the time will tell whether i am right or wrong okay i hope you like my analysis in case you do please share my videos with your friends give me a thumbs up and in case you have any comments please do let me know Thank you very much.